Welcome to the Killing Floor Games quarterfinals. Uh, this is the first team for Bracket B, Synergy. They um, qualified with a time of 22 minutes and one second on Mana. I'm Grail, and joining me tonight is Egg. Hi, everybody. Great to be here. Been looking forward to this one. Uh, Synergy is the team formerly known as Reaper's Death Squad, and they won the last tournament. That's right, isn't it, Grail? Uh, yes, at least two of the members are from that Reaper and Fresh Matt. And yeah, they've so added some new members. These guys are, yeah, so I'm pretty excited to see what these guys are capable of. Great team, Cheers, great players. Cheers, You're most welcome. Can you give us some money? It's raining money! Same loadout they had in the last Run! game on mana. Well, looks like they don't want the combi, right? We got the tiny corridor. New mag, give me a sec! Yeah, I'll go in the tiny corridor. This is a bit awkward with uh, three sharps, or multiple sharps, I suppose generally. You need um, supports to really be good here, but these are very good players, so let's we'll see how they go. Yeah, I think if their team coordination's good, they should be alright. But yeah, I agree. The real danger is they all blast away at the same thing and waste a lot of ammo. Yeah, so a lot of the responsibility beyond Reaper here to keep it clean. But when he's keeping it clean, it'll be hard for the sharps to get those headshots. One thing I do notice is that Mushroom Head in the first game, when they played a mana, used a musket. He's using a crossbow now. Hmm, uh, switching it up a bit, huh? Probably more important here to have the three great killers. Yeah, well, these are pretty tight quarters, so they're not going to have a lot of time to reset if a uh, shot goes bad. Absolutely, and Matt's getting hit by a crawl trying to get those scrakes. That's where it becomes tough. And you can see this turn get pushed back already. Yeah, that's a little bit took, ugly, but... Reaper took half damage from his own grenades there too. Oh yeah, he did take a bit of a beating. And that's, that's, that's okay. the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So when they're trying to get those precision shots off, I guess they, they're going to need to coordinate who's going to be going for the, the scrake and who's going to be cleaning the trash because you don't want the person going for the scrake to get hit by some trash. Oh yeah, that'd that be headshot. Disaster. Yeah. But I'm guessing these guys have practiced pretty hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure Reaper's team started practicing pretty much the day the tournament was announced. Yeah, I agree. So I'm sure they've, uh, they've got their plans in place, but as we all know, it doesn't take much for it to go wrong. So. I'm sure they're going to be uh, communicating quite strongly here. I think it's a decent method in what's going on. Uh, Mushroom Head has got a pretty advanced position, so I think the idea is he sort of does the early recon. Oh man, they're unlucky with these scrakes spawn. Yep. they got to get those husks and sirens as well. They're going to be the big thing. Uh, the husk gets a fireball off. It could hit all of them, and it could detonate Reaper's grenades if he's firing. Yeah, he gets unlucky. Yeah, that'd be some bad luck, but it's certainly possible. That looks okay, though. At least the first it's done well here. Three minutes. Decent time. What's that? Looks like a Siren Brigade left over. I do just worry Let's about them getting check. swarmed. Precision. Perks are great, but generally you need some distance. Yeah, look, thinking the same thing. But, uh, I mean, they might not—they might only cap there at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, they're not happy. Give us some bloody money, will you? <laughs> no. Okay. No one's happy about three sirens. Yeah, there's some pretty nasty, uh, pretty nasty spawns there. There was two double scrakes, triple siren at the end. And okay, that was just the first okay. wave. So everyone's got armor except for Matt. Uh, Mushroom Head not packing any armor either. Oh no, true. Way up, reloading. Saving the cash for ammo, I guess. I think I hear the first flush pound. Here it is. 
Nice kill. Easily, de easily dealt with. The advantage to this spot is they've got an instant retreat point over the back. They just gotta be careful it's not swarming when they go over there. Way up, reloading. Yeah, I've had even bug games go up. Uh, go bad, pop over the back only to find you swimming in Zeds. But I'd imagine these guys are aware of the danger. Those oh, crossbow that bolts. Nice yeah, there was a lot of them playing there, wasn't there? So it looks like Mushroom Head, where he's positioned, like you're mentioning, he's getting the angle to get the Zeds as they come through the door or get to the door. Yeah, I'm playing the most aggressive role. Yep. Doing quite well so far. Haven't had any uh, any real drama since we're at Wave so far. Yeah, it's looking pretty tight. I say the spawn's been slightly kinder. So, would you have gone with a support or something to do a bit more brute force in this position, or would you have gone with three sharps as well, you reckon? Well, I'm more of a sharp player, so I, I'd be pretty happy with three sharps. Probably the real trick being just being able to see through all the uh, smoke flash Yeah, well, Rip is all over it again. But uh, I've seen... We've been seeing a lot of teams packing uh, a lot of sub players, and I I reckon they'd be very effective here. I suppose the only thing you couldn't do is do the sort of move that Mushroom Head is doing, sort of trying to pick them off early. It wouldn't be as effective. No. But if you nice. have to let him pour into the corridor, yeah, it was a nice clean up, wasn't it? If you have to let him pour into the corridor, then the supports would really clean up. Yep, Mushroom Head got both of those scrakes in with a single crossbow bolt at the end. <laughs> wow, some slick shooting. That's precision. Another nice fast wave, about three minutes away. Reloading. Yeah, time's looking pretty good. Dosh. Grab it while you can, lads. Get and they think so too. Yep. Thanks, pal. It's always nice to have our commentary validated by the team that's in, in action. That's right. <laughs> sometimes you think they can hear what we're saying. Okay. <laughs> it seems like that sometimes. Well, that should be a pretty quick trade out. They don't know very far to go. Run for it! Saved a minute and a quarter already in just two trade visits. That's pretty good. Another sometimes clean you kill, feel what? sorry. For, I was going to say, sometimes you feel sorry for flesh pounds. <laughs> You've blown away so quickly. Turns up, says, Look at me, I've got all glowy lights on me, dead. Reaper's too quick and too clean with that nade launcher. Yeah, he's been very fast on the kill. Which is certainly what you need in a situation like this. One flesh pound gets out of control, it's pretty much game over. And as you mentioned earlier, that smoke and the fire and the exploding zeds, these guys are doing really well to keep getting their headshots with all that distraction. Yeah. It's some very precise stuff, even with all the chaos. Yep, and since that first wave where they got pushed back past the boxes, they've basically stayed in front of the boxes since then. They're, they're dominating this position, now they're owning it. Yeah, perhaps it just took them a moment to get in the groove, but uh, they're certainly well in the slot now. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to take a pretty bad spawn to uh, push him back, I reckon. Agreed. The model slash pants will potentially give them some something to worry about. But also, multiple scrakes coming around the corner at the same time, if they come with a horde. Yeah, seems some good covering fire there, though. Yeah, I suppose one of the big risks is a flesh pound or a scrake getting raged before they get to the corridor by a grenade area effect. Yeah, that is going to be a bit of a risk. But, well, with three good sharps, three crossbows, should be able to stop it next tracks. It's a very good time so far. What do you reckon they're going to be looking at? Uh, well, if they keep on going like this, it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, what are we, about halfway through eight? So we're in the 20-ish minute range? Yeah, I reckon 20 Looks to 21. Possible. Yep, I agree. It's probably going to be hard to get much faster you know, in this spot, just due to the way the uh, Zed's path and so forth. Yeah, so I'm looking maybe four. He comes to flush pound again from the right. Boom. <laughs> so four to four and a half minutes for the next couple waves and. These guys did the pat in the first game very nicely too. That was a pretty quick kill. Okay, well... I'm trying to heal you, not bloody tickle you. So 20 minutes and change. Sounds like the call. Hold on a tick, I'm reloading! reloading! Reaper's already making his way for the trader. Number of times I've seen demos race off like that, owing to an actual bloat. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Fresh Matt's having some tunnel times with the gore fast. I think that's the most damage anyone in this team's taken so far. That wasn't self inflicted. Yep, sure. Pipe bombs are getting purchased. In preparation for potential multiples. Yeah, I'd say that's the uh, double no FP defense. Rubber, yep. Oh, crap, Not as nice a trader, but that was pretty quick work by this team. It, it was. Very in fast. And yeah, and that's the thing. Once you've got your loadout, as long as you just hit auto fill, you should be good. The only person that purchased anything was the demo, who purchased those pipes. Everyone else is filled up. No. So they're not going to really save much time here. So they save 17 seconds. Well, saving any is a decent effort with that sort of uh, trader spot. There was. Flush pound coming. And nicely done again. This is one of the more common camp spots on this map, but I think these guys are owning it better than what you see most people do. I reckon I've seen six player teams that aren't doing as well as this. I'd agree. Without anything except for the demo for area effect, they are truly cleaning it up. Yeah, if you look at the kill count, uh, I'm seeing this mushroom on 206 kills and demo on 228. Certainly the lion's share of the kills between those two. Yep. So it looks like the other two sharps have been carefully dedicating their shots towards taking out some of the slightly smaller zeds, like the. Uh, Husks and sirens. They are very important to get here. Oh, and someone bounced. Oh, um, or someone Reaper bounced a siren towards the team, but it got taken out. That could have been nasty if it got a chance to scream. 
Hey, it's always bad when you're, uh, particularly when you're at the back of the pack and you see a siren comes flying towards you. <laughs> yeah, the last thing they need is jetpacks. Holding where they are as well is really good. If they do get forced back, there's a chance that if their siren walks past the back, the siren can scream at them from down on the ground. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, they got quite a few options there. That was a nasty hit the mushroom took just then. Yeah, he still had heaps of spare hit points left. Only needs one. Only needs one, that's right. Make the kings proud. Watch it! I'm reloading! Another flesh pound coming. And he's got a scrake and a bunch of sirens with him. Hold on, I'm reloading. Sirens taken care of first, that was well done. They could have gone messy if they didn't get rid of that siren. Yeah, that was nicely done. Mushroom took a bit of a chainsaw, yep. Uh, even that didn't seem to shake him too much. No. Good communication, not panicking. Well done. So they've just passed the 15 minute mark, almost finished wave 9. On track for a, a nice time to start this bracket uh, quarterfinals off. Yeah, judging by the looks of it, these guys are going to be pretty hard to beat. Uh, time to leave. Well, I would expect that as well. Sure Defending premiers. This is true. Hand cannon got purchased. Hand cannon got given to Reaper. It's always good to have uh, a sidearm for the demo. Yeah, I've seen a lot of demos do that, and I can well understand why. If, uh, if they're down at close quarters. Don't want to be using the, uh, don't have to be pulling out the knife. No. Man on! Oh, I see Titan. Whoa. Got it. Guessing they've been practicing that move a few times. I bet so. And it was good to see that Reaper didn't place the two pipes on top of each other. He gave himself a little bit of coverage there. Yeah, that's, time to see uh, that's demos. the thing about the um, pipes needing to be spaced out, right? Yeah, you don't want to put them on top of each other because you can hear them when, when the Zeds walk across them. They, when they're going to detonate, they beep, 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 and then they'll explode. If you put them right on top of each other, the Zeds have walked across them before they explode. If they both are behind them, then they're only taking ancillary damage, not direct damage from them. Right. And you also want to cover the areas to make sure that if they do come in a slightly oblique angle that they're going to at least hit one of them. No problem. Yeah, well it looks like they've mapped out their patty fight already. Judging by the chatter. Reloading. Don't think they're leaving anything to chance. Yep, they have so far only had that one time they got pushed back and that was in the first wave. Not a problem since then. Yeah, there's really not much to say. These guys are crushing it. Indeed. It's only so many times you can uh, say they're on fire. I want something to say where they're, they're screwing up so I can comment on it, but there's, there's just nothing there. Yeah, they are completely on top of the game. Yeah, looking super solid. Reloading, cover me. 
I've actually been uh, trying to count just the number of times the Zed has actually made it out of the doorway into the corridor, and it hasn't happened often. No. <laughs> they, they hardly ever get a chance to turn around. Yeah, oh, there's one. Two. Must be fatigue. <laughs> Put the mock on them. Flesh pound. Second flesh pound. Is that the door? It has raged. Nice save. Wow. And that was that thing I was talking about, the raging outside because of the AOE from the grenades. But they recovered very well there. Didn't panic. Yeah, I suspect they've uh, obviously thought of it or had that happen in practice because it looked like they had a plan to deal with that too. A chainsaw? You've got to be. Do you reckon they're going to stay with the crossbows or go some, something bigger for Pat? I'd be interested to see the opening night in action. Everyone loves the AMR, right? <laughs> the crossbow head multiplier was really good for what it did, so... And it's a bit faster than the AMR. Yeah, for general utility, it's pretty hard to argue with the crossbow. Um, certainly by comparison, it's a lot more ammo as well. Yep. In the last fight they did on mana, Fresh Matt ditched his pistols for flare revolvers. 20 minutes pretty much dead on. That's looking like a very impressive time. Cash here, grab it all. We're getting some jewel hand cannons. Reaper got a crossbow. Gosh, grab it while you can, lads. 50 cal fun time. They've all got crossbows. Sorry about that. Burn rubber, you pillars! Reaper does not have a grenade launcher. Really? It's all crossbows. Okay. The only... The only demo weapon he has is pipe bombs. He has dual hand cannons and a crossbow. He's going as a pseudo-sharp for Pat. Interesting. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. Uh-oh, oh, indeed. <laughs> well... Fresh. Oh, mushroom head <laughs> with the dodge. That was impressive. Nicely done. <laughs> Dealt with the pressure just fine. Okay. That was some uh, slick moves there. Apologising for uh, the move of the gate of the tournament so far. Can you see I'm reloading? Can you see I'm reloading? The crossbow with a headshot off perk is still a a very good, very uh, high spike damage weapon. Yeah, I just didn't expect to see it in a uh, tournament situation. <laughs> Mushroom dancing on his, uh, the Pat's head. It's almost like they've found an exploit there. The pack can't hit Mushroom when he's on that railing. Yeah, it's certainly a lot harder for the Patty to get him there. Pat's yeah, swung at him a few times. Jump. Yeah, Pat's swung at him a few times and hasn't hit him once. Nice shot. A uh, yeah, good result in the end, 22.51. That was a very problem-free run. <laughs> <laughs>